Uh, hello everyone. So uh, <coughs> the volunteer that comes here, Ben, he's uh, come here quite a lot, been in quite a few videos. He last time he came, he bought me this uh, this wood. It's reclaimed. He got it for free from a skip, and it's uh, amazing exotic hardwood. It's full of nails and stuff, but I think I'll cut them out and I can get some really good lengths out of it. And as an evening project, we're going to make a nice tool chest to replace that. Because, uh, yeah, I want to basically make something like that a little bit bigger, a little bit taller, and a nice wooden one out of this lovely wood. Let's get to it.
And there it is, all finished. So, turned out really nice, really pleased. Uh, drawers are a bit sticky at the moment, but I'm gonna tune them in once it settles down a bit. So in the bottom I got some big tools, axes, some gouges, stuff like that. Actually, let's put that on there. Um, yeah, middle drawer with the uh, chisels. I went with the um, like pink accents of wood in there because I ran out of the uh, Ipe, which is what this is um, from the skip. This was a sleeper, railway sleeper. Um, can you see that okay? Yeah, you can. So yeah, this was an old railway sleeper. I'm not sure what that is. Something Australian, I would have thought. Uh, but yeah, it was a great build, good fun. 
a difficult wood to work with, really difficult, very, very dense. It's denser than water. It's uh, one of the densest woods in the world. Uh, and yeah, really dusty and, and, and uh, quite a pain really to work with, but, but, um, but beautiful and I'm really pleased with it. First time I've ever done box joints and, uh, and it, it turned out great. So yeah, so we've got um, yeah, the big stuff in the bottom, chisels there, and I've got measuring and uh, marking stuff in the top and planes in the top. So I'll probably make another one to go on top of here with small drawers in yet. Um, but this was just a learning experience for the most part and it didn't cost anything. A little bit of tuning on that bottom one's a bit stiff but like I say it's going to change yet because it's been oiled now the runners are going to expand. I want them to be nice and tight because I don't want them to sag when they're out here you know so yeah very pleased and that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.